I think the Angus Foundation just a terrific thing to support. If you look at the people that have benefited that over the years within the industry, both the Angus and um, the beef industry overall, a lot of people have got a lot out of it. And uh, we've got kids in, in our family at the moment that are in a position to take advantage of it. So um, we think it's just a really good thing um, from an Angus perspective to support. And, and we thought it was a bit of a no-brainer to, uh, from our fam perspective to select this heifer, C12. She's a pretty good heifer and probably not a heifer that we'd normally give people the opportunity to purchase. Uh, we think she's special, not only she's uh, very feminine and really correct, but also has a pretty unique data set. And definitely she's a heifer that, that not a lot of people would have the opportunity to purchase uh, every day of the week. Well, she's going to come in as lot 85 at our sale on the Friday the 28th of July at Kaora. We've got um, seven stud uh, PTIC heifers, of which she'll be one of them. She was the first one in. And, um, you know, I think she's a pretty outstanding individual. So if there's people out there that are trying to establish an Angus stud or grow their genetics with their stud, I think um, she's got a fair bit to, to offer. If she stayed here at home, you know, we'd be looking, eagerly awaiting her first calf next year to see what she produced for us. I just think the foundation encourages young, young people to get into programs, whether it's through bursaries or scholarships that they can't otherwise do. And, you know, there's obviously younger people haven't got the facilities to cash in on programs, but if we can raise some money and give them that opportunity, I think um, the best young minds in the beef industry will return in spades if, if, we, uh, if we give them that opportunity to, to choose their path, whether it be a scholarship or a bursary, to, to fort further their knowledge within the industry. And, and I'd just like to add to that, I think we probably need, as breeders, need to be mindful that not everyone's kids have the privilege of growing up on a farm and and we really need to look at the next generation of breeders to come from all parts of society, not just rural backgrounds but urban backgrounds, different mindsets, different aspirations, different goals. I think they have a massive role to play within our industry going forward in the next 20 and 30 years. And hasn't, and hasn't she been a good <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha